Lake Health Systems proudly presents an NK Toco sports production of high school varsity volleyball action. We are here at Marion Local High School where Layman Catholic Cavaliers take on the Marion Local Flyers. Tonight's game is sponsored by American Trim, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, NK Toco, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Y Gem, Precision Strip, Shreedman Pharmacies, New Knoxville Supply. Find sponsors tonight. Welcome aboard. We are at the hangar, Marion Local High School, along with Jeff Enchin. I'm Dave Kanaki. Two powerhouse programs from year to year. The Layman Catholic Cavaliers and the Marion Local Flyers. Layman Catholic Jeff, the end of an era as Greg Snipes retires after last year, but a very experienced team and a very experienced coach taking his place. Yeah, a lot said there with Coach Snipes leaving, his daughter graduates as well. She was a big clog in their offense last year being a setter. Uh, he's replaced by Carolyn Dammeyer, who has known Coach Snipes for years in Club Atlantis Volleyball. So long-term relationship there, they've known each other. She comes in as first-year head coach. She has a couple big hitters back to her benefit. Olivia Lucia and also Lauren McFarland, big hitters. So that's good when you have some good middles coming back in her first year at Layman Catholic. For the Marion Local Flyers, they're one and one. They also have a new coach in Anthony Chappell, Chapel, and uh, but they have they lost quite a bit in graduation. Unlike Layman Catholic, yes, they lost a lot. So they have big shoes to fill. They have some players coming back, but Coach Anthony. Chapel in his first year, spent a couple years as an assistant under Erica Schulte, kind of switching positions. But uh, you know he has some, he has a good nucleus coming back. We had lost some big time starters as well, so work for both these coaches. And you mentioned the these traditions these two schools have. I know you probably will mention it later a number of state titles between these two teams. I see your hands eight titles between these two teams. So a lot of good volleyball has been played, and we expect a good match tonight as well. Layman at Marion Local. We'll be back with the starting lineups when we return here on NK Toco Sports. American Trim's story started in 1951, and our long family legacy continues today. We are a third generation family owned business with locations in Sydney and Walpaw, and we're hiring for manufacturing positions on first, second, and third shifts. Part time and full time positions are available for entry level and skilled individuals. Please apply at www.amtrim.com or in person. American Trim is a proud sponsor of high school sports and our communities. Come be part of our story. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Welcome back. They're getting ready here for the starting lineups between the two teams. Layman 4-0, coached by Carol Dammeyer in his first year. Just doing the non-starters here. We'll bring, up, we'll bring up the lineup here shortly. So far, they've won all four games. They've won over Springfield Catholic, over Upper Soda Valley. Marion Elgin and Jackson Center. And the lineups for Layman have Olivia Lucia, Abby Shutt, Lauren McFarland, Lauren McFarland, Carolyn Wisner, Westner, Reese Geise, Abby Haller, Abby Shutt is the libero for the Cavaliers. As you see the starters, for the Cavaliers, Madison Mesher, Lydia Grease, Griesdorn, number four, Kenzie Toby, number six, Elena Pullman, eight, Caitlin Partings, number 11, Abby Bruns, and number nine, Kelsey Koenig is libero. Head coach, Anthony Chappell, 
in his first year. Flyers one and one. Jeff, let's talk about our keyhole pizza keys to the game. First, we'll start with the visiting team, the Lehman Cavaliers. Well, Coach Dan Meyer stressed that some of her keys would be to control the net. They have a big front line, a lot of girls good size, want to be able not only to hit the ball well, attack the net, but also block. And they want to use their power as well on offense to go at the Flyers defensively with some hard hitting attacks, powerful contact to make it difficult for the Flyers. And want to be able to receive the ball off the serve well, get, make that first touch a good one. And for the Flyers, they want to limit the attacks. They have that three-headed warriors, if you will, for the Lehman Catholic Cavaliers of Lucia, McFarland, and Geis. They got to stop them, get some touches up front, and they want to stay in system. Similar to what Lehman wants to do, and that is stay in system. Good first touch, so the setter can get it. And the last one Dis discipline is discipline defense. defense. Get the ball quickly back into offense. Maybe look for some shorter sets. Don't let the Lehman Catholic defense get in position. Go quick, go fast, keep them off balance. Again, those are your keyhole pizza keys to the game. Getting ready to get started here. The referees are checking the lineup. Both these teams come in uh, with similar numbers. Uh, the Flyers and Cavaliers both average right around 11 or 12 kills per set. They both average about three and a half aces serving the ball. And they both block pretty well. Layman, the upper hand there with almost three and a half blocks per set. Mary Local just under three. So. You know, a lot of good action offensively by both these squads so far. And, you know, limit the mistakes and it's going to be your winner tonight. Underway, good hit there by Lehman. Hit there by Toby for Marion Local, and it's a Lehman Cavalier in the net. Kenzie Toby, one of the leaders on the Flyers at just under three kills per set, records her first one as she gets the Flyers on the board first. Kelsey Koenig. Continue to serve senior libero. And a good serve, ace for Koenig. Her 11th ace of the season. Not only a 74% server, so you, you want to take that with a grain of salt because percentage not that high, but does now have 11 service aces on the season. Again, another Maybe. good serve. Lehman not able to cover, and Make Koenig is dominating right now. Yeah, two quick ones right off the bat for the 5-6 senior. And again, keeping them in and play. Want to serve aggressive, but don't want to give the Cavaliers three points. That one just misses, so the first service error goes against the Flyers. So back to serve will be Lauren McFarland, senior outside hitter. She does a lot of things well for the Lehman Catholic Cavaliers. Holman with the hit, dug by Lehman. They'll go from the back row for McFarland across, dug by Caney. Hit again by Pullman off the net and falls to the floor. Couple attacks there for the big girl in the middle, 5'11 junior Elena Pullman for first kill. She leads the Flyers in offense this year, attacking, if you will, with 3.3 kills, a 2'11 hitting average or hitting percentage, so pretty good numbers for, for Pullman. Kenzie Toby with the serve, McFarland from the back row hits right inside the line. Laura McFarland with a nice back row hit for the Lehman Point as we get another look. Remember the back row attack, you can't see where she left, but it left beyond that 10 foot line. So Lehman utilizing the attackers in the front, in this case also the back row. McFarland, her first kill of the night, but she averages just under three and a half kills per set. Very good numbers. Dumped across there by the Flyers, number eight, Caitlin Hardings. Hardings will go back to serve, but nice play there. The ball at the net just went up, hit it over for her first kill of the contest, and she will now serve. Lucia with her first hit of the night, dug by the back row. Hit there by Winner, Molly Winner just in the front row. Nice kill there by Reese Geise from the left side for the point. There's another, we talked about the triple-headed attackers. Six foot junior, averaging just over three kills a set and a very impressive 289 hitting percentage for Reese Geise. She's a six footer along with Lucia and also Abby Schutt. So a tall team for Coach Danmeyer as a back row hit goes long for the Flyers. Get Lucia at listed at six feet, as well as Abby Schutt and Geis, Reese Geise, all at six feet tall. 
Serve goes in the net for Lucia. Will side out for the Flyers. Into the front row is Abby Bruns. And back to serve will be junior Elena Pullman. Both these teams coming off will play a game against Jackson Center. Lehman beat them in four. Marion Local lost to Jackson Center in five. Marion gets the point there. It's rare that you have common opponents between a team this early, but especially a, a quality opponent like Jackson Center is year in, year out. Coach Metz again having her squad loaded again. They will be very competitive. Farland's hit from the back row. Hits the net. Coach Dammeyer doesn't like what she sees. Calls a timeout. We'll step aside. You're watching high school volleyball here on NK Telco Sports. Trust us. NK Telco, a small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust NK Telco to be on call. Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NK Telco. Trust us! At CAPT, we use hometown opportunity to make sure that when we have a position open within the facility, it gets put on the website. We've really been excited to see how that has grown so much over the last several years. If anyone is looking for a job, it's the, it's the best place to go. We really want to do whatever we can to get folks that are from this community back to this area. I would recommend any manufacturing company that they take a look at it. It's a very good benefit for companies at no cost. After the timeout, a dink by Reese Geise as a side out for the Cavaliers. Good timeout for Coach Dammeyer. Her team was struggling. They get a, an attack by Geise, a soft one, but nonetheless points for the Cavaliers, much needed. Set by Hardings, hit by Brooke Homan for the Flyers. Homan having a good year. The 5'9 seniors averaging just over two and a half kills per set, but a very good hitting percentage of 378. That's scoring, with that high percentage, you're scoring a lot more points for your team versus the other team. So good job by Brooke Homan. Flyers with a 9-5 lead on our first National Bank scoreboard. Carlisle hit there by Shutt. Free ball to cross, chance for the Cavaliers. Carlisle move over to McFarland. Dug in the back row by the Flyers. Tip and in the net there by Toby. Side out will go to the Cavaliers. Set just carried too far from that far angle, and Toby unable to check oh, that. I think they must have had a layman player in the net before that happened, I take guess. that back. I thought Toby was in that. Give her the kill. As the serve sails long. Still a 10-6 lead for the Cavaliers. Into the game, Caroline Wesner, just a freshman. She will set and serve into the front row, Abby Holler for the Cavaliers. Cavaliers 4-0, 2-0 in their conference, the NWCC. Westner on the serve. Hardings with the set. Hit on the right side there by Holman. Lucia from the back row, not able to make it across. Brooke Holman will check out of the line it into the serving position in the back row, Lydia Griesdorn. 92% server on the season for the 5-2 junior. Couple aces so far. McFarland will try to tip it. Flyers able to save it. It's measured, dumps it across. McFarland's hit into the net. Layman Catholic, Dave, came in with a very good hitting percentage as a team over 325. That's her third attacking arrow already. That really brings down that number. So right now the Flyers kind of doing well. It's not necessarily all the Flyers blocking, but knowing that they're there has caused the Lehman Catholic Cavaliers to have some hitting errors. And Abby Bruns able to get the kill on the on the overpass there. And yeah, Lehman hasn't really gotten a rhythm yet. And we know they have hitters. Had a couple attacks, not many kills, just three so far. A little mix up there between two players. Coach Damnier is going to take her second and final timeout. 
14 to six on our first National Bank scoreboard. We'll be right back. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Welcome back to NK Telco Sports, brought to you by Grand Lake Health. It's been all Flyers so far. They've played well, just a few errors for the Flyers, a couple of those being service errors. The Cavaliers have had a number of hitting errors and not really being able to get into good offense. So Marion Local right now in the driver's seat, the eight point lead, but still time for the Cavaliers to come back. McFarland from the back row, dug by Koenig, Hardings. We'll go to Toby, blocked at the net by the Cavaliers. Lucia from the back row. Hardings will go to Bruns, and Bruns off the net for the point. Well, they all count that time. Abby Bruns uses the top of the tape, 5'10", junior. Two kills now here in set number one. 15 to six. Vantage Flyers, McFarland, Doug Caney, Toby, with a kill, Kinsey Toby, seen junior outside hitter with the point. She's had some nice attacks, and as such, now has three kills. Again, came into the contest, averaging just under three kills per set. Flyers lost a lot to graduation, six of their players in their rotation, but they're looking good so far here. Toby again with the kill. Well, a lot of power coming out of the 5'8 junior. Good legs. Really has got you know the ball right where she needs to have it in the hitting window. Not hitting it behind her head, but rather in front. Able to capitalize on a good arm swing. Lydia Griesdorn continues to serve during this run. Lucia with the dig. Lesnar. Tipped by McFarland. Blocked by Abby Bruns. Solo block for Abby Bruns. You don't see that very often. And for Bruns, right place, right time, able to get the termination point for the Flyers' 18-6 lead now. Grease Dorn's run finally ends, but she ends it with an 11-point lead. At this point for the layman, nothing else. You're trying to build momentum to the next game as you're very tough to come back by 11, as shut with the serve. Toby with a nice hit, that time dug by Wesner. Self-defense by Wesner, kept it in play. Geisey hit it over. And the Flyers put it into the net. So nice play there, maybe the Cavaliers can build on that. Yeah, Harding's trying to catch the Cavaliers asleep, but pushes it into the tip, into the top of the net, and gives the Cavaliers their eighth point. Mesher with a nice dig for the Flyers, and Abby Bruns with a kill in the middle. Boy, Brun's having a good first set here. After we look at her numbers there, he's again, see the replay here. And good timing and able to get off the defender's hands for the point. Kelsey Koenig, the serve, she had some aces her first time around. Lucia again from the back row. Harding's Toby again. Shut, able to bump it, it goes off the net. So Lehman catches a break. Goes off the ceiling. Yes. And there's a nice block by Lucia. So the short ceiling kind of helped out Lehman at that time as they played it quickly off there. Yeah, I, it came back pretty quick. Sometimes I think you don't have as good a chance. They were in the right place at the right time, kept the ball from carrying out, but it came back pretty quick. They kept it alive and get the block with Lucia and also McFarland. Elena Pullman shifted to the left side. She has the kill. Had her last attack blocked by the Cavaliers this time. Gets a little revenge, kind of a slide there. She started most outside hitters, and she's more of a middle, but they start back and outside. She started almost parallel to the net and almost did like a right hand layup right to the ball. Ace by Kinsey Toby. All our replays are brought by Winners Meets in Osgood, Ohio. Third ace of the set for the Flyers. Very good aggressive serving to have three service errors to go along with the three aces. It'll be a lift on the layman. Flyers continue to roll here. Mentioned 
the team that probably makes the fewest errors is going to win because they're so balanced coming in and Lehman right now with seven errors so far and the Flyers just with five, so a couple few or a couple less. Harding's slide play to Coleman blocked but out of bounds. Point Flyers. There he saw more of a traditional slide as Pullman ran around Hardings and again looks like a right hand layup to me and of course Pullman a great basketball player as well so utilizing that sport as well. Toby just two points away from victory here in the first set. McFarland from the back row and Layman's had to hit a lot of balls from the back row and that's what happens a lot. They just have not got in to the system whichever coach mentioned that they both kind of talk about it but it's been some back row hits. They just haven't had to, be, doesn't seem like they've been able, been able to get good approaches and go at it aggressively. Set point and Toby tried to take a little bit off of it and she took a lot off of it. It's, it's, she's able to smile though with a 14 point lead. I guess if you're gonna have one, you know, have it now. Again, percentages are very minimal for the Lehman Cavaliers to come back as Abby Holler serves. And she serves an ace, so that's one point. They just need 13 straight more to make it 24-24. That's the fourth service ace of the season for the 5'9 senior. And yeah, need, need a bunch. And that will end it. First set goes in favor of the Flyers on our first National Bank scoreboard, 25-11. Teams will switch side. We'll be back here on NK Telco Sports. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaize County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. First set goes in favor of the Flyers, 25-11. Complete dominations really by the Flyers. They end the set one with 12 kills compared to just three for the Cavaliers. Flyers with three service aces, just one for the Cavaliers. Each team had a block and as we talked, Dave, it just seemed like Lehman did not get many attacks in rhythm or any type of uh, repetition. It seemed like Marion Oakle was always on the attack, some hard driven spikes, attacks. Hard to defend, and the Flyers, I think, just flat out played better offensively. Got on top early and never gave the Cavaliers an opportunity to come back. Lucia with a hit from the front row, dug by Mesher. And miscommunication and a first point by Lehman. They had actually served, but there was an inadvertent whistle or inadvertent buzzer. They let him replay the serve. As Geise starts off, I check that, McFarland serving for the Cavaliers. All the way across, Toby got a big first game. Saved by the Cavaliers. Toby had four kills to match a uniform number in the first game, hits that one long. Lehman up two to nothing. I expect Lehman show have a much better set here. Yeah, they really uh, did not play a good offense. And you talk about their, their attackers, just three kills total in the first set. So they're gonna look for those girls to get on fire on track. Bruns with a nice tip for the Flyers over a couple blockers. Good court awareness for Bruns. She had three kills in set number one that time. Saw the defenders and hit it high enough over the blockers, as you mentioned, but not hard enough to keep it in front or let the back row have a play on it. Wow. Geise hammers it. 
Now she had two kills to number 22 in set one. That's the type of offense system. Take another look at it here. And, you know, if you could hear the velocity or the smack, you know those are the, you know when she hits it well. And it's just tough, it's a lot harder to receive when they're coming at you a much faster than when they're coming at you soft and not in a downward direction. Yeah, Geise, McFarland, and Lucia coming into this, the stats had they average over three kills a set. And we didn't see it in the first set. Nice hit there by, I think, Toby from the right side. I believe it was Toby, the right side. And yeah, those three girls average, Lucia averages just under three and a half kills per set. McFarland, 3.4, and Geis, 3.1. And again, uh, Mary Logan, you know, limit the attacks. They, they limited the Cavaliers' big hitters to get any type of rhythm going. A hit from the back row for the Cavaliers, dumped across there by the Flyers. There'll be a lift on the set there. So illegal hit gives it to the Flyers. We're tied at three. Toby on the season, five service aces, had one in set number one. Serves a real nice ball at 90% as well, and that's a very aggressive serve right there. Hardings with the second hit. Nice save by the Cavaliers. Hardings this time will set winner. Nice dig in the back row bearer by the Cavaliers. Geise off the net and in, but the big dig in the back row by number 20, Laura McFarland. Yep, that's a stat you won't see in the paper, but she kept a hard-driven attack. I believe it was by winner alive, and that allowed her offense to get it back, and Geis with a hard-driven spike that caught the tape and fell down for the kill. Back to live action. Pullman on the nice set by Hardings for the point. Not sure if you saw that or not, but that was getting on top of the volleyball right there, and that time straight up, straight down for Pullman, who now has four kills on the night. Had three in set number one. Caitlin Harding's back. Flyers haven't had a game since last Tuesday, and they kind of moved their lineup around. They have Harding's at setter, and uh, so far the early returns have been Yeah, they look pretty, pretty, good. pretty good in the first game. Hit by Geise goes into the net. And sometimes that's, it's good to have that time off, especially early in the season to kind of work out the kinks. You come in with play in the preseason, but when you hit the regular season, things change. And, and there's an ace by Hardings. Good, a lot of good serves by the Flyers. They've been serving very aggressively, and you talk about a change. They've got Hardings number eight setting tonight. She didn't have one assist, if you will, coming in. It was, dis it was divided by Koenig and also Rethman, and now it's been turned over to Harding, so there's a nice termination block. By Abby Shutt. Shutt and also Emma Westerheide went up to assist. But you're right, Shutt probably got the contact. Geise rotates in the back row, now serves. Harding's able to get that across. That legal hit. McFarland through the blockers. Kill for Lauren McFarland. Well, that for the Cavaliers, Dave, they have surpassed the game number one total of the kills with three. This is now that was their fourth kill, so they're obviously getting some offensive confidence here in game number two, much needed following a, basically a shutout in game number one. Kenzie Toby, a nice hit from the back row. And that's tough to do that, but she got some great elevation on that hit. She jumps well. She's 5'9, five, 5'8 five, to begin with, but boy, I. I'd say her vertical has her hitting the ball in a downward direction, and she's going out of, even out of the back row there. Very aggressively, not tentative, swinging hard. Home with a hard serve there, dug by Wester Heidi. Lucia from the back row, winner with the save. Shut. Nice save there by Hardings, but nobody gets the second hit. Abby Shut will get credit with the kill. And that time, Lehman able to get a. A cheap one, if you will. The ball falling in front of the Marion local defense, but the Cavaliers will take it. Carolyn Wesner into the back row to serve and set, as well as Abby, Abby Holler into the front row for Coach Carolyn Dammeyer, her 25th year as a head coach. High school-wise, she spent some time with club volleyball as well coaching, so a lot of years, and some of that's almost full time. Abby Bruins following up on that. The last six years, she was head coach at Delphi St. John's. Before that, she was a head coach at Salina, eight years. 
St. Mary's tenure. So, you know, to replace Greg Snipes, who's been here 23 years, they got somebody with actually maybe even more experience or very equivalent. Of course, the success of Greg Snipes is tough to replace. So that will go wide. Well, you mentioned, of course, Snipes having a long tenure there and Coach Dammeyer's or high school coaching plus the Atlantis club volleyball the team Atlantis or however you word that a lot of years there but she also played volleyball at St. Henry under a very good coach in D.D. Stoner so she has played the game and now coaching it so a lot of wealth of information I would say to share to these younger girls and and like I said she's doing it almost full time with the high school season and the club season that runs what all the way through February through April or so, so a lot of time. Coach Denmeyer with the timeout. Her team trails by three. We'll be right back here on NK Toco Sports. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Welcome back to NK Toko Sports, brought to you by Grand Lake Health. A timeout by the Cavaliers. Coach Dammeyer finds her team down by three. Well, she had a good start. They got off to a quick lead. Coach Chapel's team, though, battled back and now has played well enough to take a three-point lead. So, again, it's, the Cavaliers need to get a stop. Mary Local's playing very well, a lot of confidence. You mentioned the, the lineup shuffle a little bit. They're, they're battling through that. They're, they're playing very well right now, are the Flyers. So. Cavaliers hope this timeout can break the serve and give them the ball back. But first, they got to get a good offensive attack. Hit by McFarland. Kill point, much needed point for the Cavaliers. Abby Schutt rotates to the back row. We have Lucia, McFarland, and also Howler, probably the best front line here for Lehman. There's Toby from the left side, dug by Shutt. Able to save it. Over to Toby, the timing a little bit off on that set and hit. And it gives a point to the Cavaliers. Kind of went at it, like almost tried to disguise where she was going to go, the whether she's going to back, go middle, and then she died, decided to go quickly outside and maybe get it there a little quicker. And you're right, timing just not there. Brooke Coleman with the kill for the Flyers. Yeah, there's a lot of different plays in volleyball. Sometimes you set it nice and high. Sometimes you set it low. You see a nice tip there by Brooke Hillman for Just the point. Just have to keep the defense off balance. Too many of these girls are too good. If you telegraph or give them a chance to get in position, they're going to probably have a real good block attempt. It's kind of like baseball pitching. You have to vary the speed. You can't do everything yes, at the same time. Well you know, fast, fast, slow. Change ups, off speed, something different. There's an ace by Griesdorn in her second attempt, sails long. We mentioned a lot of, for Coach Danmeyer, you know, losing the setter and Alexa Snipes last year. They're also playing without about three girls tonight. A couple of them are injured, Michaela Geisey and also Megan Chamberlain are both injured today, Bow. as well as there's normal libero, Piper Sharkins is ill, so she's shorthanded as well. Yeah, that might be cause for the First problem there, Lucia ended up with a termination kill as the Flyers could not get it back. They've been trying to tie it here. Wessner, Lucia, and we are tied 12 to 12. Three kills for Lucia, number eight. Now I say number eight, we've covered Lehman volleyball for some years and I'm pretty sure that eight prior to Lucia four years ago was worn by Sidney Chapman. And if you know anything about volleyball, Sidney Chapman wore number eight very well for the for the she Cavaliers. So yeah. it's it's a, so like whoever wants it next year better be able to attack, block, serve, play all around good volleyball. Hey, well, the Cavaliers now with the lead, 13 to 12 on our first National Bank scoreboard. A nice serve by McFarland and ace and momentum's all with the Lehman Cavaliers right now. McFarland records 14 and 15th ace of the season, serves the ball at 90%. So she not only scores the ball on aces but 
Keeps it in play, forces the other team to make a play. Toby off the block. Wesner goes to Lucia. Dug there by Griesdorn. Toby will have to hit it across. Wesner, Lucia, and they got the timing down. He said it right there, it was bang, bang, boom. And now it's the Flyers that haven't been able to get set up. You just can see the approach. It's like if a girl swing hard, it's because they're in system. Everything's in rhythm. When you start getting people out of balance, it's just like you're missing a cylinder on your car that's fouled out. It just doesn't run smooth. And right now, give credit to the Cavaliers. They're getting the ball in play and able to go at it. Geisey with a big kill. It was 10 to seven in favor of the Flyers when Coach Danmeyer calls a timeout. Coach Chapel will now call a timeout. His team down by four. We'll step aside, be right back on NK Toko Sports. American Trim's story started in 1951 and our long family legacy continues today. We are a third generation family owned business with locations in Sydney and Walpaw and we're hiring for manufacturing positions on first, second and third shifts. Part time and full time positions are available for entry level and skilled individuals. Please apply at www.amtrim.com or in person. American Trim is a proud sponsor of high school sports and our communities. Come be part of our story. Welcome back to NK Telco Sports, presented by Grand Lake Health. And momentum has shifted big time in this game. Yeah, you mentioned it, Dave. That has definitely gone to this, the right side of your television screen. The Cavaliers have gotten the ball in system. They've been able to attack. They're getting great swings out of Lucia, McFarland, and Geisy. That's their three-headed attackers, or three attack hitters, if you will. And the Flyers now, we've seen them kind of falter they've not been able to get some good swings like we saw in game one and that one just uh, off balance attack again by Geisy on that attempt and another point for the Cavs nice save there by Hardings but Lucia the other way now she was held without a kill on set number one that's her fifth here in set number two so she's working to repad that average of 3.4 so getting that back up there. Second team all state last year in D4, so you knew it was there. And Layman's got it rolling. Battle at the net. Hit across there by Holler. Hit, but a nice block there. The hit was by Brunson. Lucia with a couple teammates block it back. Well, Lucia, you'll see her there. I think she went up by herself this time. Oh no, maybe all three of them did the whole front row, but Lucia got it. She averages, I didn't mention this, but she averages two blocks a set. That that's is very good. That's not touches, that's that's that. That's another, she is dominating the net right now. Yeah, the blocks, when we say blocks, those are termination blocks where you block it to immediately a point. Coach Chapel wants, one doesn't have, want anything of that here. So another timeout, we'll keep it right here. Grand Lake Health Systems probably presents NK Toko Sports Production of High School Volleyball. Tonight's game is sponsored by American Trim, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, NK Toko, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Fly Gem, Precision Strip, Schrudeman Pharmacies, and New Knoxville Supply here. Here at the Hangar, a place that's seen a lot of great volleyball through the years from Marion, a lot of their MAC opponents. Also some great volleyball through the years by Lehman. We talked about eight state titles between these two teams. Marion has five of them. They won that within a matter of eight years in 07, 08, 09, 12, and 11. All under coach Amy Steinecker, who uh, retired a few years back. And 13. And 13. And the Lehman has three of them, 2000, 2005, and 2010. Right now, Lehman is rolling. Yeah, it's that's the ball's ro the the ball is rolling downhill right now, and the Flyers are just basically trying to stay out of the way. They get a break there, but long way to go. Good play by Bruns. Nice tip there to mix it up at the net, over the blockers, and a much needed side out for the Flyers. It's Kelsey Caney. Looking to roll some points here for the Flyers. Aggressive serve by Koenig. Lucia from the behind the 10 foot line into the net. Koenig, 10 aces on the season. Had a couple of them, a total of 12 now in set number one. 
but has the tendency also to have some service errors at just 74%. So she gets one, but gives one up. And at this point, the Flyers need more than just alternating points. As Abby Holler goes to the back row to serve. With an eight point lead, trying to even up this match at one set apiece. Dug by Mesher, Harding's close to the net. I believe Harding's bumped the net. So a point for the Cavaliers. I almost could give out a probably an ace because Marion was then able to play the ball. So we'll give Holler the service ace as I believe she was the server. So Coleman goes into the back row. She normally just plays. I think they're maybe row. trying to stall a little bit. They're out of timeout, so you use a sub to just break the momentum. Toby, a nice hit from the right side. Able to get that rotation. They were in a rotation where the Toby usually hits from the left side, but the way she, she was in that right position, a place she wasn't used to, but she did a nice hit but there. Now Marion local, you know, a long way to go. They just have two hitters in the front row, row with Winter and Pullman because ace, because number eight, Hardings is a setter, but to get a service ace there by Toby, that's her second of the match. It's a nice serve that dropped. It's a good point. They're using only one setter where they've been doing a 6-2 offense. Now, now they're on a 5-1, so. Yep. It's a whole different formation with some rotations. Again, though, risk and return. That one sails long, and it is now set point. Yeah, we talked about hitting percentage with attackers. I think they should have a hitting percentage. You could probably could figure it out with serving. I mean, if you have a lot of aces, great, but if, you, if your percentage is down, then it gives it right back to them. And an ace for Lucia to wrap up set two, which goes in favor of the Cavaliers, 25 to 16. That evens the match at one set apiece. Both teams will switch sides. We'll be right back for set three here on NK Toko Sports. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Trust us. NK Telco, a small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust in KTelco to be on call. Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NKTelco. Trust us! Second set goes in favor of the Cavaliers as they totally turn the set or the match around. They even it up at one to one. Yeah, they return the favor. They finish set number two due to the Cavaliers with 11 kills compared to nine for the Flyers. They had three service aces as well as the Flyers also with three, but came up with four big, big blocks for points compared to zero blocks for points for the Flyers. And the Cavaliers only commit four errors the Flyers commit seven, so much better game for the Cavaliers. Coach Dan Meyer's team really turned it around after really playing poorly, if you will, in the first set, but then the Flyers looked so good in game one, kind of couldn't get into rhythm in game two and started off here with a hitting error. Toby's hit goes long. So 
first point goes to the Cavaliers, McFarland, who served a lot in that long run that they had in the middle of the game that really clinched it for the Cavaliers in set two. She had a couple of service aces. Good wow. hit by Pullman, but a nice dig by Shutt. Yeah, that was a hard-driven attack. Good one-arm reach by Shutt. Toby through the blockers. A nice save there by Wesner. McFarland from the back row. Hardings will try to dump it off. A nice save by McFarland, but nobody home. We talk about Hardings being in the front row. If she's a front row player, you talk about a 5-1 offense. Doesn't matter if she's a front row player, which she is now. She can attack it just like Winner and Pullman can. It's when she comes out of the back row, then she can't attack the ball above the net. Toby with the serve. Dug by McFarland again. Lucia behind the 10 foot, partially blocked by Pullman. Will set Winner, blocked at the net. Wesner to Lucia for the point. Lucia had five kills in game number two. That's her sixth on the night. She was shut out in game number one, as again, you see the good first touch. And then a nice set, the middle hitter kind of can go right or left and chose to go to the left for the second Lehman Catholic point. Wesner leaves a freshman, has been setting. In comes the other setter, Megan Carlisle, just a sophomore, and she serves an ace. So very young setters in this 6-2 offense, as freshman and a sophomore. 95% server for Carlisle. So does a nice job. This time a couple aces back to back, but more importantly, serves the ball inbounds for the Cavaliers. Well, what we've seen so far is how much confidence means in these games. When, when Miriam is going good in the first set, everything looked good. S since then, Lehman has played confidently and it looks easy for them. Again, that one sails wide for the Flyers. Tony Chappell looks across his team. Trying to adjust. He has a lot of experience. We talked about Coach Dammeyer having a lot of experience. Is this set goes in that? Coach Chapel has had a lot of experience, albeit his first year here at Marion. Well, he's not relatively from the area, if you will. He's first year coaching here, but he spent the previous three years as a uh, varsity assistant and JV coach, but then a year at Thomas Worthington as head coach, a year at Bexley, six years at Dublin Kaufman, seven years in the Columbus Volleyball Club. Academy, so he's had a lot of experience as well, just like Coach Dammeyer, a lot of work with the high school programs and as well as the spring club teams. Great volley back and forth. Goes to the Cavaliers on a heading air by the Flyers. He's a 2000 graduate out of Dublin Scioto High School. And found he's his way back here, partly probably due to his wife being from Maria Stein, Margaret Moeller. There's a hit and a kill for the Flyers. I think that was Pullman on the hit in the front row as she goes to the back row. So six to three in favor of the Cavaliers. Let's see if the Flyers can adjust here. And there's a good serve, but a nice save by the Cavaliers to get it over and it falls. Back row attack, a cheap one caught the Flyers, maybe standing still just a little bit. And sometimes you just have to save the point and keep it going and hope it falls or the other team makes mistakes. And that's, it just fell that time for Lehman. There's winner from the right side and it hits the top of the tape and a five point lead for the Lehman Cavaliers. Flyers have had a lot of hitting at errors here recently. That's their fourth already here in game number three. They had four in game number two. Reese's serve goes a little bit too short. So again, these teams have a lot of power, but you have to be able to get it between the pins and then the 30 by 30 square. Into the game as libero for the Lehman Cavaliers, Heidi shut. Five, seven seniors as she digs the serve. McFarland with the hit, nice dig by Hardings. Toby, not across. You talk about playing with confidence when you start thinking about stuff, you know, it's a fifth attack there. We've seen Toby hit very well. I believe that was Toby there that hit it into the net. Just uncharacteristic. And when things are going well, you don't think about it. You, you jump, you swing from wherever, and it falls in bounds. But when things start going against you, your arm slows down, you don't jump as high, your timing's off. That's 
Obviously, it seems like that's when the errors happen the most. Brun sails long. Another point. The Cavaliers are now in double figures. Serving again is the freshman setter, Caroline Wesner. Right now for Lehman Catholic, keep the serve in bounds. Marion Local has been struggling on offense to find that good hitting zone. Keep feeding them the ball until they figure it out. Holman's hit is wide. And it's Chapel with the timeout. Lehman up by seven. Be right back. Capped, we use hometown opportunity to make sure that when we have a position open within the facility, it gets put on the website. We've really been excited to see how that has grown so much over the last several years. If anyone is looking for a job, it's the, it's the best place to go. We really want to do whatever we can to get folks that are from this community back to this area. I would recommend any manufacturing company that they take a look at it. It's a very good benefit for companies at no cost. Welcome back to NK Toko Sports brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems. And the first set was dominated by the Flyers, second by the Cavaliers, and they've continued that here in the third set. They've got off to a good start. And really, they've just done so by playing pretty clean. The only errors they've made have been by serving. I said just before the timeout, keep the serve in bounds. Marion Local's in a rut right now. They are having hitting problems, and they've already committed seven attack errors. So. And now that's a service ace. So again, right now, the Flyers really playing on the backs of their heels. Need to get you know a good rotation, a good system offense to break this string of offense by the Cavaliers. Eight point lead as Wesner continues to serve. Dug by Mesher. Harding's back set by home and block back. Cavaliers doing a lot better job of blocking. Shut. Try to do a quick hit, and that goes into the net. Well, the Flyers got what they needed, a side out. Down seven, but with 13 points to go. Still time. You know, it's, it's tough to get them all back at once. You need and to have a run about four or five, though, to get right in this game. Breeze darn serve across. Dug by shut. Holler off the block. Harding sets Toby. Lucia with the dig. Wesner. Shuttle just bump it across. Pass, Hardings chases it down. Toby, Uchia put down on the overpass there. Bruns puts it away. Bruns with her first kill. She had three in each sets, one and two, and just heads up play there by Bruns, making sure the ball crosses the net and then obviously staying out of the net. Seems easy, but sometimes difficult to control your balance and your, your timing. Another long serve. We've had a lot of missed serves by both teams here tonight. Well, that was the first of this set by the Flyers, but they've had four in set one, three in set number two. So, yeah, I think plenty. I mean, I think one is too many. But teams like to serve aggressive and, and risk-reward, as you mentioned earlier. Harding tried to dump it across. Shut will bump it across. There's Grease Dorn. Over to Toby again. I think it tipped off the blocker, and that will go as a kill for Kinsey Toby. Toby gets her first kill of the set. She recorded four in game one and three in game number two. She's really attacked the ball well early on. Like to see her get in some good rhythm, and that time got a good swing of the ball a little bit behind her head, but able to get the point off the deflection. Lucia not able to really go into that one. Slide play. Holman had to just hit that across. Lucia down. Lehman able to get the attack set up before the Lehman, I'm sorry, before Mary Local could get the block. Watch it here. Blocker's not ready and a little bit of a shorter set. Wasn't as high as usual and it, just the blocker's not ready and Lucia, you give her uh, an inch and she'll take a mile or however that works. She took advantage of it. There's a point for the Flyers there. Toby from the right side with kill. Back-to-back -back kills for Kinsey Toby here in game number three as the Flyers trying to, they're getting some points on the board, but need to get successive serves now. You can't play, get one, take one, give one, and the Cavaliers need to break the string here and, and go back to work on offense, keep the Flyers down by six. Lucia again, off the block by Pullman. Nice save by Hardings. Hit Real her nice. With, winner with the hit. In the middle of Lucia again, kept alive. Geisy of the net, dink by Lucia. 
hit that time by Holler for the kill. Holler, five foot nine senior, saw the opening over by the up official and basically just flipped her wrist, put it where nobody was at. And nice play by Holler and back to seven point lead. You can just see the excitement in the Lehman girls. They just seem excited and just happy on how well they're playing on their hits especially. The winner, a nice hit, used the rope. Top of the net there, sophomore Molly Winter with the kill. Mo Molly Winter has been quiet tonight. I'm not saying she hasn't been playing well, but that's her first kill of the night. She comes in averaging one kill per set. So a little bit below her average, but you know, get a few here. Your team back to now with five points on the service ace. Ace by Caitlin Hardings, senior, one of just four seniors on this flyer squad. They graduated, I believe, six seniors, and a lot of, all six of those players played in their rotation last year. And again, a, an ace and a miss serve by the Flyers gives it back to the Cavaliers. Nine errors committed by the Flyers so far here in game number three. Seven hitting and two serving. Chia with the serve, Hardings, the slide play, Pullman sails it long. Well, it looked good, you really thought the system was in place. Pullman timed it well, just not on top of it quite enough. Had a lot of velocity, but gives the Cavaliers a seven point lead again. Flat footed, Pullman able to hit it through the blockers. And a nice hit on the flat foot. She just hit it a little bit later. The blockers are a little further down. And that's and it one of those being flat footed. The defenders know you're kind of limited on where you can go. You know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. And that time, I think Pullman, you know, after hitting a hard one long the time before, kind of gets a cheap one there that probably should have been blocked, but it wasn't. So you play on. McFarland from the back row, dug by Hardings. Winner, flat footed. McFarland, Carlisle shut. That sails wide. You can't quite see it, but I was waiting for a ball to go over to the student section there for Marion Local, and I see a Nice orange number six directly across from me and a nice brown shirt. So uh, Baker Mayfield fans are out and about. I'm okay with seeing that a lot this season. Nice play by Harding. Mix it up. If you can push it, so to speak, legally like that in the corner, she did a nice job. Timeout Cavaliers as we get another look here. As you see Harding, she found an opening there be a timeout. We'll keep it right here. We'd like to thank our sponsors here for Grand Lake Health's presentation of NK Telco Sports, American Trim, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Fly Gem, Precision Strip, Schwederman Pharmacies, New Knoxville Supply, Grand Lake Health, one of our main sponsors here presenting tonight. The Keys to the Game is brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Our replay sponsor is Winner's Meats. Player of the Game will pick a Player of the Game uh, by NK Telco on our first National Bank scoreboard. Lehman leads by four, and you see that student I section. I wasn't making it up, there it is, number six. Six, Couple. number 24 as well we got. Yeah, it's nice Nick to see Chubb and Yeah, OBJ's in there as well, so. Uh, Good to see the theme tonight must be professional sports uniforms and go with the best. Good, good crowd here, Marion's been in session, I think for about a week, as most schools have. And, Trying to root their flyers on, and they pull within three on the strong serve by Elena Pullman. Her first ace of the night. That's her seventh on the season, but remember, a 77% server, so as much as you'd like to get a quick ace, you hate to serve one in the net or out of bounds here. Give the point right back. McFarland with the dig. Reese. Here's the Dizius. opportunity, big opportunity for the flyers. Hardings in the middle. Bruns, nice dig by McFarland. Lucia from the back row, dug by Winter. Hardings chases it down, back to Winter. Sails long, point Cavaliers. Good volley, and I believe it was McFarland that recorded the big dig. A hard driven attack by the Flyers, that would have been a big momentum play, but the hitting error gives the Cavaliers back the ball and a six point lead. Off the top of the net, Winter, McFarland. Carlisle back to McFarland. Double blocked and never made it across. You can just seem like it's on the verge of the momentum shifting big time to the Flyers, and that's what Layman's trying to prevent that. They called the timeout. 
Both it was, teams with one left. It was a six, maybe a seven point lead. Now it's down to three, but you know, for the Flyers, they've got to shrink that deficit quicker. They don't have a lot of points to, you know, get to give up one. They've got to get a bunch here, get a, a run of two or three in a row before the Cavs get into the 20s. Hit by Holman. McFarlane will try to hit the second one. A good idea, but it did not work. Yeah, what came to McFarlane looked like a very nice set. Just attacked it into the net, and now it's a two-point lead, so we're in crunch time. Flyers have battled back. Surfer crossed by Griesdorn. Carlisle to McFarland through the blockers. Kept alive, Harding's hitting it flat-footed. Carlisle to shut. Nice save there by Harding's. Holman dinks it. A save by Carlisle, but wide. And the Flyers within one. Brooke Holman now. A kill on each set has her team down by just one point. Cavalier timeout. We'll be right back on NK Telco Sports. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Welcome back to NK Telco Sports, brought to you by Grand Lake Health. And the Flyers are one point away from coming back to tie this set. Both teams are playing pretty well this set. You know, the Flyers, when I say playing pretty well, they've committed a lot of errors. They have over 10 errors. Most of them have been to their attacking errors. So in a way, they've kind of helped the Cavaliers stay in it, but the Cavaliers have been playing some good volleyball as well, and we've seen some much better attacking here and some good defense as well. Toby with the kill. And we are tied. That was set up on McFarland, had a nice hit, and it was dug out by the Flyers, and they were able to get a hit back on that. Well, Toby continues to have a big night. She now has 10 kills in the match. Lucia, Carlisle, McFarland mixed it up a little bit and find a, found a spot. That was a little awkward. McFarland, I think the set was pushed out. She was maybe a little bit in. Nonetheless, she had to kind of jump stop or shift to her left and then hit it back towards the Mary local bench to her right. So. It ended up well for McFarland, and she got a lot on it. So pretty good play by number 20, Lauren McFarland, the 5'8 senior. Freshman Caroline Wesner in to serve and set. There's Toby again down the line this time, and she ties the set. I don't know much about arm swing, but that girl snaps her wrist and, and really, especially in this one, rears back, hand behind her head, take a look, and then snap. And it's that wrist motion, you know, you, that's what puts some spin, top spin on the ball, and delivers the punch. Lydia Griesdorm with the serve. McFarland with the hit, dug by Koenig. Tip this time by Toby. Wesner will set McFarland, and she, the dink, real high, but it falls. So a shut, you said 14, yeah, with a soft. No, that was McFarland that hit that. Oh, sorry. Number I 20. I got you. So and, and now I for Lehman, Lucia has now rotated into the front row. But unfortunately, the serve goes into the net. Break for the Flyers. That's one less attack you probably have to absorb from Lucia. 20-20. This is a big last five points here. Who can go ahead in this match two sets to one? Lehman just free balled across. Chance for the Flyers. Slide play to Pullman, blocked out of bounds. The Flyers with their, I believe their first lead of this set. I think you're right, and Pullman that time, good timing, a lot of power, and you've got to block it just right to get the ball back in play. And the serve goes long, and we are tied at 21. Warren McFarland, who's has had a lot of service points tonight, goes back to serve. Dug by Mesher. Pullman left-handed. Wesner, and there's a lift. That was a chance where the ball was hit to the setter, and so she hits the first one. Somebody else has to hit that, set I, that second one. I was going to say earlier, our setters have done a nice job handling the ball. 
more times than not, it's someone that's a non-setter gets called for the violation. and if, They're not and usually if, ready for it in that Correct, case. and just don't handle it right. And now the first touch is different than the rest. It's the second and third. You've got to be very careful how you handle it. Someone's in a net, but. Pullman finishes it off and a two-point lead for the Flyers. The, the setters have been playing very well. If you know where the setter is, if you're smart, you know in the defense where the setter hides, if I have a free ball or if you don't have a great attack, hit it to the setter, force her to play it, make someone else not accustomed to doing it. It's like having your setter bring the ball down the basketball court. Doesn't like to dribble. Chances are he won't do a great job. So hit it to the setter, force someone else to handle it. Lucia's hit goes long and it is set point for the Flyers. They were down by five, six, maybe even seven, seven. points. I know seven. seven at once. And there was still some time left and it got down to be three. And since that time, They've really outscored the Flyers probably about seven to two. Toby with the serve. Big hit here by Geise off the double block. Layman Again, survives one set point. A lot of power when you hit it hard. You know, the chance of it being blocked back on your net is probably less than it being deflected for a point. If you can hit it hard, and that's exactly what Geis did off the defender, keeps the Cavs alive. Holler's serve goes into the net. And the Marion Local Flyers with a comeback victory in set three on our first National Bank scoreboard. They win the third set 25-22. They now lead the match two sets to one. We'll switch sides and we'll come back. It'll probably be an exciting set four here on NK Toko Sports. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaize County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. Marion Local was down seven points early in the third set. Rallies all the way back to win the third set, 25-22. Yeah, as, as bad as their hitting was, they actually probably won the game because of their hitting. They recorded 12, uh, 13 kills. That one out of bounds. But they had, the Flyers had 13 kills in set number three compared to just seven for the Cavaliers. So although they had a number of hitting errors, they won the battle in the attacking and uh, help them squeak out a two-point victory. Toby Long, a 2-0 lead for Lehman. Also in that game, you know, each team had some service errors. Mary Local committed three. Lehman Catholic had four. And there was just a one ball handling error by the Cavaliers, but no blocking points for either team in game number three. And that was a big point for Lehman. In, in game the, number two. Yep. You got four of them in game number two. There's Lucia, nice dig by Caney. Nice save by McFarland, now shut. Here's an opportunity. 
Anytime you free ball it over, good Steve. job by the Fly or Lake Cavaliers. Geisey with wow. a swing wide. And a side out to the Flyers. Flyers one and one on this season. They won at Salina. And then they lost to Jackson Center a week ago on Tuesday. So they've had a week off to switch some things as we have a long serve. Lehman 4-0, they won at home over Springfield Catholic Central. In four, they won at USV. They won at Marion Elgin, who was the won the NWCC last year. That was Lehman's only league loss last year. And then they won at home on Saturday over Jackson Center in four for Lehman's 4-0 record. But right now they're in some trouble here, down two to one here in the fourth set. Toby from the back row, nice dig by McFarland. Well, McFarland's played some very good defense and really been a recipient of some hard driven spikes. And, and that side out will give it a little bit of mix up on that second hit. I was just gonna say the, the, the digging for the Cavaliers have really improved as yeah, we've gone out here. playing some good defense. I mean, both teams, it's just amazing how well these girls can be in the right spot and probably most of that comes from good coaching. I mean, there's a reason where you stand where you stand and why your blockers do what they do. So, but, you know, to catch these, I shouldn't say catch, but to bump these hard driven spikes, attacks, and to make them playable, that's a that's a talent. Kill there for by Abby Shutt coming from the back row for the Cavaliers. They lead four to two here at the hangar and Marion Local. And an ace there by Olivia Lucia. Lucia records her second ace of the night, has a couple blocks and also eight kills thus far. Was held without a kill in that first set where the Cavaliers were defeated handily 25 to 11. Another missed serve goes to the Flyers. You know, you see some missed serves, but a lot of times when the servers are trying to hit a certain spot, they're not trying to just hit in the middle of the court. They're trying to get there, and there's a nice ace by Hardings. But they're they all look over to the coach. The coach gives a signal, which is a certain sector of the court. And some of the times the sector's in the corner. And it's risk reward again. You, you want it in a spot. Maybe they think they won't be able to handle it. And it, But you don't always do the safest serve. Guys, you nice dig by Caning on a powerful hit by Geisey. Winner able to get it across. Carlisle Geisey that time Took a little bit off of it, and a kill for Reese Geisey. She's had some nice attacks here, a couple there, but uh, records her first kill. And again, take a good look at it, and at six feet tall, you know, any type of vertical makes it a little bit more downward swing, and she's able to connect with the kill. She's had as much velocity as about anybody, and this time, Winner's attack. winner with his hit, nice hit. Geisey, or Caning steps up, shut, puts it away. Shut. Abby shut, shuts the door, if you will. You know, nice analogy and a good play by her. She had to wait for the ball to cross the net. Again, it looks easy, but sometimes with the ball coming at you, different from when you're set or setting you the ball. So a little bit of a different look, but shut able to, to make good contact, drive it down. Toby from the back row put some top spin on it and a little confusion in the back row, and it falls. Again, something different. Not used to seeing it maybe come from there. And, once in a while, you do have a mistake, and you know, things are going to happen. Give credit to Kinsey Toby, 5'8 junior, with her first kill of game number four. That gives her 12 on the night. Holman serve hits the tape. Yeah, the days of being any kind of passive servant are long gone. The key is aggressive serving. You ask any coach at the high school level in this area. Aggressive, aggressive. They'll take some bad. Of course, they don't want to have any bad serves, but they're willing if, to have a few errors. But if you can serve it hard enough, the other team can't get a spike back. That sets your off offense for there. And but, it may not. Now, what I don't like is that you know yeah. you don't even make the other team think. But like you said, they're willing to take a few errors, and you may not always get an ace out of it. But if you force the first touch to be offline, they have to chase this down. The setter's running backwards to bump it up and. They end yeah. up with a free ball over. That's pretty good because now you can go into offense. You hate it, like you said. This first touch, they can kind of two-hand it like that. And if you if you give it to them soft, they have a great chance of getting in their offense real quick. Another nice play by Hardings. 
But you know, if you, if you serve it soft, they can field it much cleaner and have a much better chance of getting into their system. And I'd much rather, you hate to let them get in the system because then they're gonna be attacking the ball like at two feet from the net coming right at you. You know, you don't like those odds when they're able to aggressively attack it. Madison Mesher with the serve across, trying to tie this game. Mesher with the dig. Rakoman from the right side with the kill. Lucia dug it, but nobody was able to get the second hit, and we are tied at eight. You know, I don't know the full season with the Flyers a couple games in, but they've changed the lineup. But I think Harding's 5'8 senior has done a nice job setting the ball and has been able to find that hole in the back once in a while dumping it over herself. She's recorded four kills or five kills already tonight. Nice just by knowing by, it was there. Nice save by the Flyers, but Lauren McFarlane puts it away for the Cavaliers, and they have the ball in the one-point lead. McFarlane, number 20, her sixth kill of the night. Abby Shutt with the serve. Bruns just long. Two-point lead for the Cavaliers. They have to win this set to keep it going. Elimination game for the Cavs. Guard by Caney. Harding's tried to dump it across. Holler, McFarland, Dink, back on the layman side. Hit at the second one, Lucia. Did a nice job of mixing it up there. Took a little bit off of it and it falls. Again, awkward hit, but Lucia, very athletic, six foot tall, good arms band. You know, good hitters get good breaks. And uh, hit the top of the net, fell right in front of a couple of flyers or where they could not get it. Her first kill of game number four. Runs. Nice save there by Heidi Shut. Ball into the net there. Point for the Flyers. Lydia Griesdorn, Jr. Defensive specialist back to serve. 92% server on the season has earned her fourth ace of the season earlier tonight. Push deep there, chased down by Koenig. Toby with the kill. I think she's hammered the ball very well consistently tonight. Has now 13, do my math right here. Yeah, 13 kills. Breeze darn serve, good by shut. Heidi shut from the back row. Hardings, Bruns wide. When you're in the middle there, sometimes you gotta go right down the middle or sometimes you gotta hit it to the side and that time Bruns went a little bit too wide. So back to Lehman with a two point lead on our first National Bank scoreboard. First National Bank, think first. Dink by Toby, nice save by McFarland. Hit across, chance for the Flyers. Over to Toby, block. Now back on the layman side. Wesner, Lucia, chased down by Mesher. Griesdorn, Koenig. Go again to Lucia, nice block by the Flyers. This time they'll go Geisy, this time blocked out of bounds. Some good net play there by both teams. A lot of good action and a lot of good touches and Geisy with the big winner at the end, but yes, a number of good swings and attacks by both teams. Farley, nice dig there by Griesdorn, and that sails long, and now a four-point lead. What's well, been a pretty close game so far here. It has been, but again, the Flyers hitting is what's kind of helped the Cavaliers stay in this. That was the fifth hitting error of the set for the Flyers. Lehman able to chase it down. Geisy able to hit something with it. And at the net, Geisy able to get a piece of it. That was a nice third hit there by Geisy. It wasn't just a free ball. It wasn't a real hard spike, but she got something on it. Yeah, but anytime you get something on it where it's under control, you know, obviously you don't want to go at it if you can't get it across the net, but again, you hate to free ball it over. That just gives the other team a much better opportunity to get into offense. Shot by Lehman to keep it alive. Bruns wins the battle at the net. Again, they want that bang-bang offense, a kind of a shorter set. Bruns was there ready for it. 
it went off a Lehman defender, but again, I think it catches the defense off stride just a little bit. And a big point for the Flyers. Back Ace. to back points. Ace by Koenig. Draws the score within three. Third service ace of the match. She came in with 10, now with 13 aces on the season, serving for Kelsey Koenig. Lucia off the top of the net. Nice dig by Griesdorn. There's Toby, sails wide. Side out to the Cavaliers. Into the game will be Emma Westerheide as we get another look on the last play. And just good hit, but too far out of bounds. And another hitting error against the Flyers. Pullman powers it home. Well, you can see the difference when they attack the ball out in front of their head. Yep. It makes a big difference. And Pullman's at 5'11", so you already have some vertical height already. So any jump she gets, and the ball was out in front of her, they can really get an aggressive attack and call it the back line. Her first kill of game number four. Toby serve across. Lucia will just have to dink it across. Harding strikes for the second one, saved by Shutt. McFarland from the back row blocked. Winner and Pullman, the combo block. We didn't have any blocks for either team last game, and that's really just a second termination block for the Flyers. The first one came way back in set number one, a solo block by Bruns, but that time, Winner and Pullman combined for their 14th point. Abby shut. Dug by Toby. There's Winner, never made it across. Seven hitting errors. Every time it seems like the Flyers are getting on a roll, Lehman's able to fend them off as their big hitter, Lucia, Olivia Lucia, moves back to the back row to serve. Dug there by Griesdorn, slide play by Pullman. Nice saves by Lehman, but a chance for the Flyers. Griesdorn, Pullman, had to, timing was a little bit off there, and the ball goes wide. It looked like the timing was off. It almost was a great play. Anytime you go up and kind of can pull back your gun and push it over, you know, it could be a huge play. That time she did it, but hit it wide, so it becomes a hitting error against the Flyers. Your eighth of the match, or the set. So you figure those eight points, it's either a point for you or a point for me. That eight is eight of the 18 the Cavaliers have received this game. Winner's hit. Wide, and now a five-point lead. Slayman is just six points away from evening in this match. Lucia, important for her to keep it in bounds as much as you want to serve aggressively. The Flyers have been struggling. Good block at the net by Lehman. Winner will try it again, this time through the blockers. Nice save there by Carlisle, but now a lift on the Cavaliers. Megan Carlisle, yeah, dug up. The attack by Molly Winner, but the handling error gives the ball back to the Flyers. Again, a case where the setter hits the first one and you have a handling error on the second one. Flyers down by four as Caitlin Harding's serve is short. I have a feeling both teams will be practicing some serving tomorrow. A lot of times it's not, it's not just having a bad serve, it's one you have. You just got a side out. Hit by Holman. Nice dig by Geise. McFarland. Koenig steps up. Holman wants the ball. And she hits the ball for the point. Her 10th kill of the match now in double figures is Elena Pullman. Her second one here of set number four. Remember her and her teammate Molly Winter combined a few points ago for a, a block, a termination block. Have not seen many of those from the Flyers tonight, just two. Pullman serve across, dug by Lucia. McFarland will dink it, and it'll fall. Nice setting there by Carlisle. It looked for a minute, it was gonna go to the middle, and it's, uh, again, a little bit of deception, and it works for there for the Cavaliers. Just like the point guard in basketball, if you will, you know, who are you gonna throw it to? Give it to them in a good, shooting position or a chance where they can make a move when they catch it. In this case, who am I gonna go to? And I think it's confusing 
from what I've heard, you hear a lot of girls yelling numbers. If I was a setter, you know, you've got to focus on what you're going to do because it is almost a distraction, I think, but they all yell numbers and they all want the ball. It's like, feed me, but they all can't get it. So the setter has to distribute the ball and keep everybody happy. Nice job there by Hardings. Finds the spot again. She has six kills in a night, and I'm guessing five or maybe all six of them have come on that, you know, where she pushes it to the deep or the open hole. Knows where it's at again through coaching experience, defensive shift, and there's probably always a weak spot somewhere. And if you anticipate it, you can find it. McFarland again with the tip. Nice, well-placed dink, if you will. Eight kills in a match for Lauren McFarland, her third here of game number four. And a timeout by the Flyers. We'll be right back in set four here on NK Toko Sports. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Grand Lake Health's presentation of high school sports on NK Toko Sports is brought to you by American Trim, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Fly Gem, Precision Strip, Schroederman Pharmacies, New Knoxville Supply, and Grand Lake Health. Our sponsors here, Lehman trying to finish out this fourth set. Well, they're in the elimination game, the Cavaliers are. They need to finish it up here, move on to decisive game five, the Flyers, We'd like to end it here, but trailing by five with just three points to go, need to be need to play mistake-free volleyball and force the Cavaliers into a mistake or earn one yourself with a strong attack. Rakoman with the hit, big by Heidi shut. McFarland off the double blockers. Another point for the Cavaliers. We mentioned McFarland's defense a few times. She has four kills already here in this set, helping her team to a six-point lead right now. Timeout, Flyers. Another timeout here as the first set won 25 to 11 in favor of Marion Local. Lehman 25 16. Won the second one, Marion 25 22 in the third set. Again, our sponsors brought to you here on Grand Lakes presentation of high school sports on NK Toko Sports, American Trim, Cross Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bang, Fly Gem, Precision Strip, Truman Pharmacies, Unoxa Supply. Keyhole Pizza, our keys to the game sponsor, winner meets, replay sponsor, player of the game, pick one for one for one of the teams from NK Toka on our first National Bank scoreboard. The Lehman Cavaliers just two points away from victory here in the set four. As you see Coach Chapel. Well he's taking a full 60 seconds, which I think he should, especially when you're behind. Lehman, I was when they came in, they were right back out. I thought Coach, I thought for a second Greg Snipes was still coaching Lehman. That man, if he called timeout ahead or behind, I don't think the girls were in the huddle for much more than 15 seconds and back on the court. And an ace by Habby, Heidi Shutt. Greg Snipes, three state champions, 492 victories. Did well, and right now his team, former team if you will, trying to tie up this match at two sets apiece. Back set to Holman. Dug by the setter, Wesner. McFarland, nice dig there by Mesher. Toby, shut, it goes high into the rafters. Able to save it. He'll set Toby. Nice hit by Toby, keeps the Flyers alive. Flyers needed a point. Again, they trail by six with just one to go. Lydia agrees during into the game. They need to make convert on six straight points here to keep this set alive. Back set McFarland, dug by Caney. In the middle, it's Bruns through Lucia. Abby Bruns has played a nice middle for the Flyers. She has nine, nine kills on the night. Been very consistent and a big swing and a big point there for the Flyers. 
Griesdorn with the hit when McFarland wasn't sure to take it or not. Late decision, a point and a timeout by Lehman. We'll take a quick timeout, be right back. American Trim's story started in 1951, and our long family legacy continues today. We are a third-generation family-owned business with locations in Sydney and Walpaw, and we're hiring for manufacturing positions on first, second, and third shifts. Part-time and full-time positions are available for entry-level and skilled individuals. Please apply at www.amtrim.com or in person. American Trim is a proud sponsor of high school sports and our communities. Come be part of our story. Lehman just one point away, but we've had three straight points for the Flyers. Yeah, they took a timeout. And they didn't get it right away, but they're, their backs are against the wall for the Flyers. I mean, it would be a heck of a comeback. It's not impossible. A lot of it's momentum, and whether or not the Cavaliers can get a good first touch and get into offense. Breeze darn serve. McFarland, Wesner. They go back row to shut. Mesher chases it down as well as Koenig. Free ball and a chance for the Cavaliers. Wesner will set Lucia. Nice dig by Madison Mesher. Toby with the kill. Good play by the Flyers, especially a key dig there by Mesher in the back row. Kept it alive. Another timeout for the Cavaliers. We'll keep it right here. Right, Toby there, number four, records your fourth kill of game number four. And, you know, big swing there is they've come up with some nice attacks. The crowd, you know, the field momentum definitely on the Flyers' side here at home. The student body pretty much excited as well. So the Flyers getting some good touches. And you mentioned a pickup by Madison Mesher, huge. I mean, that, that was a hard swing, I believe, I believe by Lucia, but got her arm on it. They were able to play it, put it back on the other side of the net, and came up eventually with a big kill from Kinsey Toby. It wasn't just digging it, it was digging it at a place the setter yeah. can now set the I spiker. Say, That's how huge. Many, how many times have you seen deflections go into the stands? Very few. I mean, not only can they touch it, but they can control it for the most part and get it to where their setter can get a play on it. Breeze Dorn trying to keep it alive. Nice save by, Matt, by McFarland. She's able to push it across. Harding's. Toby off the blocker, McFarland. To go over to McFarland with the left. Four hits, another point for the Flyers. Lehman does have one timeout left. No, they just used him back to back points. Did they? Okay, you're right. I don't, the scoreboard's wrong. Breeze Dorn trying to save it. Lucia not able to cross. The Flyers within one. I believe when Griesdorn went back, it, it was 24-17. So that was 16. They've had seven in a row. They need one more to force overtime, if you will. Griesdorn serve. Dug by shut. Wesner will go Lucia. Caning with the dig. Harding will set Toby. Down. We are tied. The Flyers. Talk about how hard it was could be, and they've made it at least to force an overtime. Overtime, if you will. You have to win by two. Now they're going for the lead. Dug by shut. Wesner. Have to be bumped across. Hardings. Toby. Nice dig by shut. Battle to net. Nice save by McFarland. Chance for the Flyers. And a nice hit by Abby Bruins. And now set point, match point for the Flyers. What a comeback, it's not over yet. But what a run here by the Flyers. Match point. Riesdorn serve across, shut. Wesner, free ball to cross, chance for the Flyers. Hardings will go over to Toby. Off the blocker, kept alive. In the middle, it's Bruns. On the layman side, it falls. The Marion local Flyers, I believe they scored the last 10 points of that set to win the match. 26-24, final numbers, they win 25-11, 16-25, 25-22, and an exciting 26-24 to cap it off for the Flyers. 
We'll be back to wrap it all up here on NK Toko Sports. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Trust us. NK Telco, a small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust NK Telco to be on call. Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NK Telco. Trust us! At CAPT, we use Hometown Opportunity to make sure that when we have a position open within the facility, it gets put on the website. We've really been excited to see how that has grown so much over the last several years. If anyone is looking for a job, it's the, it's the best place to go. We really want to do whatever we can to get folks that are from this community back to this area. I would recommend any manufacturing company that they take a look at it. It's a very good benefit for companies at no cost. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. back to NK Tokyo Sports brought to you by Grand Lake Health. We had an exciting match here. One in four sets. Marion defeats Lehman. 25-11, 16-25, 25-22, and the exciting 26-24 with our final numbers, Mr. Jeff Enchin. Yeah, you mentioned the exciting finish. I, I maybe didn't expect it when it was 24 to 17 in favor of Lehman that would end at 26-24. A big run there by the Flyers to finish it. Um, well-deserved victory for Marion Local. They were led this evening in attacking. They, as a team, they earned 48 kills for the Flyers, 31 for the Cavaliers, and the Flyers win the, that battle. Service aces, Flyers had 11, Cavaliers had nine, and blocking, the Flyers with two blocks for points, and the Cavaliers with five individually. For Layman Catholic, Olivia Lucia, her stat sheet, nine kills, two service aces, three blocks. Megan Carlisle, two service aces. Abby Shuck, three kills, a service ace, and a block. Lauren McFarland, nine kills, two service aces, and a block. Caroline Wester, a service ace. Reese Geis with nine kills and two blocks. Abby Holler, one kill, one ace, one block. Again, their totals are 31 kills nine aces and five blocks tonight for the Cavaliers. For the winning Flyers, stat sheet goes like this. Kinsey Toby, 16 kills, two aces. Elena Pullman, 10 kills, a service ace, a block. Caitlin Hardings, six kills, three aces. Kenzie Koenig, three service aces. Brooke Homan, four kills. Abby Bruns, 11 kills and a block. Molly Winter added a kill for the final for the Flyers. 48 kills, 11 aces, two blocks. A 
again, they win tonight's battle, pulling out at a very impressive come from behind dramatic game four finish to earn a three to one victory over a previously undefeated Lehman Catholic squad. Lehman falls to four and one overall while the Flyers go to two and one. And maybe we don't have our numbers right at that last one. It was either nine or 10 points. Flyers scored to finish off. It yeah, doesn't it matter. Was 24 to 16 or 24 to 17 or so, it something was, that it was one or the other there. The percentages were against the Flyers. You know, the win expectancy was probably less than yeah. five, less than two percent. The percentages were not in their favor. Not in their percent is, uh, you know, they started off the first set. They were dominant. Lehman made a nice recovery, did a nice job in the second set. Third set, Marion got was behind in the third set. They were down by seven early. Yes. Made to come back, and then the big comeback there. So come back, come back, kids, cardiac kids for Coach Cha uh, Chapel. So right now we'll talk about our player of the game. Uh, a lot of candidates for the Flyers. We're going to give it to a person who played a new position at setter in Caitlin Al Caitlin Hardings. Yeah, the five eight senior Caitlin Hardings tonight the full-time setter for the Flyers and did a super job. I mean, the, they have 48 kills, and if she had one handling error, I, I don't remember if it was, but she also had six kills from that setting position, also three service aces. I thought she set the ball very well, played a very clean game, and found the holes at times for some big points, so congratulations to Caitlin Hardings, our player of the game, sponsored by Winners. Sponsored by NK Telco. Also, winners are replay sponsor, a keys to the game sponsor, Keyhole Pizza. For our director, Bryce Hamrick, our assistant director, Taylor Wisman. On camera tonight, John Schwerdeman. My partner, Jeff Henschen. I'm Dave Kanapke. Thanks for watching on NK Telco Sports.